A New York City employee used taxpayer money to put spells on her ex. Oh Who no! Wouldn't? Who wouldn't? <laughs> we know it's legit. Obviously. We know it's a sign. That's why I want a receipt for my taxes. They do report that part of that money that she spent did on was her ex. Like oh, to put a, a spell on her ex. That money on the wrong witch, because that's a lot of money and I don't know how fucked I up her ex is. Yeah. What was the spell? Because it's going to come back to her times three, according to the craft. Oh, really? How do you know uh, about the craft? The, the movie, the craft? You ever the watched movie. the craft in the, the 90s, that movie? Yeah, you don't know the, the witches? Lame. Keep up, Gio. Yeah, you Actually, don't know the craft? I, you know the fucking craft? Yeah. Was Who was in it? Peter Dillwood. Yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> I know Sabrina Nef the Campbell. Teenage Witch. It was like in Nev Campbell's heyday. Yeah, where Nev, Cam like, Nev Campbell was in it. Okay, I saw it. <laughs> yeah, it there you go. The one where like, she goes like this and she changes her hair color. Yeah. And then they do the light as a feather, dark as a board. And then, yeah, it comes back by three. Yeah. I, just, I watched it, but I think I was high. I don't remember it. Uh, they were badass. Yeah, they were. That was a good movie. Dope. And then Wick and Culture got all popular after that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's when Charm came out. Yeah. I was afraid of spirits, so I studied a little bit of that shit to make the spirits go away. Yeah. And I you scared the shit the out of myself. And that's how my insomnia started when I was 12 years old. Wow. It's never yeah. left. Did you, so to this day, you're still kind of scared of spirits? No, not, not anymore, because I've discovered science. <laughs> but um, I went through my own witch hunt yeah. when I was like 11 or 12. What'd you do? I just started reading online because I was like, fuck, dude, if Shit. these spirits are going to fucking get me, I got to understand my enemy. You're like, I got to know their tricks so I can fight first. Yeah, so I went on fucking the AOL front page and then the search engine and I said devil. And I wrote down, I was like, let me read what the fuck this devil say worship is. Let me read Wiccan, all that, the different spells. Dang. I would go into the AOL chat room for witches and shit and just yeah, read out. and study. And I'm all like, all right. What did they say? They're just talking about witch shit. And then I think mainly they're role playing. But I didn't get it. I thought they were real witches. Yeah, it was just some like, I don't know, like they're talking about some wizard magic shit. Did you picture them? But I also didn't read that well too. So I was 12 and like half of the shit I understood. Oh. And then like, yeah, and then I would just read and see all these demon demonic pictures. And then eventually I got scared to go to sleep at night. Wow. So then I scared myself to, to not sleeping because I was I, originally it was, it all started because I was afraid of, uh, uh, Bloody Mary, because I played Bloody Mary oh, with my friends. Oh, I was so scared oh, of Bloody Mary. So yeah. I would tell so about the yeah. right before I went in the bathroom. Yeah, so I tried to study that, and then, like, I try to read up on demons and monsters and all these things. And then, I guess somewhere along, I, I discovered drugs, fast forward to <laughs> being a part of the real world. Yep. That demons didn't scare me anymore, because humans were way more scarier than yep. demons. Humans are the demons. Yeah. Well, and then now, I'm like, humans. I believe in science. That's what <laughs> Science conquers all. Supposedly, they want to take over your body. That's Demons? Like, yeah, that's why people get possessed and stuff. That's like, like I think they, it's an And then, and then they're in a human body, and that's what humans are really scary. I always want her to get possessed. No. <laughs> why? Just feel what it's like. Just have a friend what about inside of you. Just by a like nice ghost. Didn't you ever yeah. see um the yeah. Exorcist yeah. of Emily Rose? Which one? Exorcism of Emily Rose. Not in our uh, house. We don't watch no, that. She, does, she wouldn't that watch one? that stuff. I watched a scary movie with you, and I did not watch it. I was on my phone the whole time because I was gonna die. Hereditary. Yeah. Watch Hereditary. Oh, Hereditary is no joke though. I, I think that's a, the last 15 minutes masterful. No, but in that movie though, they actually show um, like real footage of the <gasps> no! actual exorcism. Ooh, I want to watch it. No. How do I watch it by myself? No. Yes. Okay. So yeah. what if? Okay, so like you know how there's like evil ghosts that come in and good like spirit. fucking take yeah right what if there's good spirits that like the like holy ghosts. spirit or whatever right like there's a good the spirit holy that spirit. comes he just said yeah. the holy spirit yeah it's a good spirit it's a what holy, the holy spirit. spirit comes down yeah, yeah yeah i mean i don't know anything in history where there's like a good ghost or a good like casper or whatever ghost the movie yeah oh yeah they, yeah, yeah ghost they, right so they cross over so we i, I think as humans we only we only recognize the negative right like oh old grandma she's possessed that bitch is fucking doing 360s with her head and shit, right? <laughs> but what if in society we had like good ghosts that came and possessed you and then they did good shit and then like they left your body? Like, I don't know. I like, wish. Like, what if it was like Mother Teresa and shit? She was in, she was like possessed by a good ghost. Okay. And then she did all that good work. And then instead of like saying she was possessed by something great, we just give the human credit. So some people believe that angels can work through you. Yeah. So like um, an angel will work through a human and like help you at like a certain time where you needed it. And then later that, that human is like, I don't even know what came over me. Yeah. I just felt like I needed to walk over this direction. And there you were needing help. Yep. Yeah. And so like there's stories like that 
That could be it. Yeah, because we're too negative. We're thinking about the fucking bitch that's throwing up in people's faces <laughs> and doing like the owl head turns and shit. You know? But I think they only do it in opposite. So like you know the demons, they find like the most innocent family that yeah. just moved in. So they 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 possess them. I think the angels probably go straight into the hood and find like a group of gangsters. And then whenever they're about to do that robbery, and there's that one gangster that has like a change of heart, that's the one that's possessed by an angel. Mm. And then now all the homies question him, and then now they beat him up or kill him. Yeah. <laughs> but then he gets to go to heaven. Yeah, he gets to go to heaven though. I have one for you, Joe. Where you right. said you're a man of science. The horror director John Carpenter, who released horror the director horror horror. 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 Yeah, yeah. I heard uh, horror. for the uh, Shining. <laughs> he did a lot of adult films too. Was it Poltergeist? That's a rude way of saying that. You ever watched the thing? No. The original one, so no. that's a really good one. But there's one called Prince of Darkness for everyone listening that deals with science and it puts forth the idea: what if there was no good or evil, and then what if the tale of the devil actually was something beyond good and evil, and there just was it came from some other dimension, and so there is no God, there are no angels. What's but beyond a, good and evil? Absolute chaos. Wow. Yeah. Is that? But so that one that's it deals. Not just evil? It deals with a little bit, but there's no then balance. So you know like how it's like, oh, if there's evil, there has to be good. It's just like, it's chaos. It's just whatever goes. It's Oh, that stresses me out. Would you watch right? this? No. Chaos is just random and it's nature, right? So sometimes good comes from chaos because in order to have good, you need to have bad. You can't have good by itself. Mm -hmm. It, they're, 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 like, just for example, like in nature, right? Like, you need to destroy a force for the new force to be born again. So that's the same thing with just humans and relationship, right? Like, you need to feel death, or like, you need to have a family member die to also experience someone but being that's born. that's the balance of good and bad. He's saying beyond that balance of good and bad, there's chaos. It's like another dimension. Oh, that there yeah, is no, right, there's no right. concept of morality because it's a human concept, how we put things on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's good, this is bad, right. it's like, nah, it's, all just evil. ethics and morality is, is shaped through culture too, yeah. as well as like yeah. biology and what is gonna help the species survive and stuff like that. So that's what this movie's about? Prince of Darkness, 1987, that's a good one. Prince of Darkness. 1987? John, yeah, John Carpenter is a legendary horror director. <laughs> horror director. Horror. I think yeah. horror. 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 Director. Porn director, but you're just being mean about it. <sighs> like, he directs the horror. He made some uh, <laughs> artistic uh, erotic films. <laughs> Nearly 500 residents chipped in to save their favorite local bar. That's oh. us, cheers. Ooh. Cheaters. Everybody Cheater. knows oh, the cheers. name. Cheaters. <laughs> cheaters. I was like, why do they cheat? Cheater. They work together. like anti -it. Cheaters. <laughs> they can't save it that way. <laughs> I know. So I was like, what? <laughs> Ooh, what a cool building. They yeah. look like they're about to cook some shit. You know what's crazy? If you just mess with the filters and make it look sepia, then now it looks like it's from like the 1800s. Yeah, it's it's like oh, nothing oh, fucking changed yeah. in that photo. Also, that when means. people when buildings have little windows and little yeah. bricks like that, it always looks, always looking at it. Yeah, or like um, <laughs> it's like an old orphanage that like oh, right. <laughs> that's kids right. got abused in there. That's what it looks oh, like. No. Abused children. I was picturing like stained glass, like a, a pub, like a. Like oh, like yeah, that. like ye old pub, like a Harry See, Potter town. That's when the time actually matters. Yeah. When it's built, it's <laughs> this type of architecture or that type of architecture. Okay, Bart, you win. Gothic <laughs> Why does old shit always gotta look scary as fuck? Like, why can't it be like Disneyland? Not repenting people back then, you had to be scared. Yeah, they lived in fear. Well, I mean, Amsterdam is old as fuck, but that looks like... Uh, it's yeah. cute. Well, Those fools yeah, were Amsterdam's silly. Amsterdam's <laughs> yeah, <Those> are silly. <laughs> they had their wooden shoes. Yeah, they're silly. Yeah. The buildings look shoes. looks like cartoon down. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. But then there's also like Anne Frank's attic is there and stuff. So that's uh, true. Because old, like no matter where you are in the world, like whether it's China or Japan or whatever, the old buildings look scary as fuck. I know. Check out this photo. I don't know what year well, that this photo was taken, fuck. but this is also the Peck Horse Inn. Oh, I told you. My yeah. God. I told you. No, Black and it's white. A, it's an Instagram filter. That's what that is. You picture like lightning happening in the back right here. Yup. There needs to be a body dangling from one of those trees. Yeah. Ooh, that's like hanging, hanging, hanging like, like that. that. Right? It looks like a murder mystery house. Oh. Like one of the maids or something. It's got to be in black and white, like really sharp black, really sharp white. Yeah. In the daytime, it feels like, um, you know, 
it's like something out of a Disney movie, like Snow White's yeah. gonna pop out or That's whatever. That's why I was picturing stained glass. Yeah. yeah. But at nighttime. It looks like this. Yeah, That's it scary. feels like fucking Even Count Dracula like lives there and shit. And then they probably had candlesticks as fucking. Mm. Yeah. Lines. It's like you see this like glowing yeah. glow in the shadows that it creates. Ooh, European shit is scary as fuck. Yeah. Mm -mm. Asian shit's not that scary. Uh, old Asian shit. Yeah, anything old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Old shit. No, they got old those shit. like yeah. dynasty, like cool looking tower things that go like this. That's true. It's cool. They look elegant in the daytime, yeah. right? But yeah, at nighttime, yeah. it just yeah, looks. At night, with it, like, a candle flicker, they're just like sipping tea. No, but even like oh, the Japanese, like. What's the, the wall made out of? Like the paper? The paper? Oh, the yeah. paper sliding that doors? Was, that doesn't look scary. Sure. Yeah. Until you open it, you see a fucking ninja there ready to kill you. Oh, you're right. You know what I'm scared of? It's it's the black teeth. Oh, that's, when scary. We, that's scary. Oh, yeah. When we go to the temples and all that, like the statues or the things, that's what I'm scared of. Not the buildings. Yeah. The buildings don't yeah. look like anything. The buildings yeah. aren't creepy. Yeah. The buildings make me feel like... Even ninjas aren't creepy scary. They're no, more just like stealth, like yeah. cool looking. Yeah. yeah. Cool. It's like an action movie. I'd be scared. I'd would be you like, be safe? You feel too. safe? I didn't do anything wrong. I would feel safe. I'd be like, dang, they're going to go kill someone. Not me. Plus, they're really good at like one punch like you're dead. Like, I feel like I'd go out nice and peacefully that way. Like your kill me fast. Like this. <laughs> yeah, this is a punch. <laughs> and we probably just never saw fire. too many... Like ghost movie horror films from Asia or something. Like I feel like a lot of the stuff that we're afraid of of the Western culture is because oh, we've yeah. seen a lot of movies, we've seen a lot of elements that were made scary. But that dude, was the West scariest horror movies are from Japan, like oh, The Ring, yeah, the original true. Ring. But they're modern day stuff, though. They're not That's set true. in the old days. I, I feel like yeah, if, we, yeah. if they made it scary, it's not like we, ancient. We have it embedded in our minds to be guys scary. Guys, vampires were like really cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, that, that wasn't that scary. <laughs> Until you see, kill, you see them kill, you see kill someone. How do they kill someone? There's like a, there'll be like a scene where a guy's like hiding like in another room, like that, and the vampire just goes right through the wall and just tears that fool's heart out, like through the drywall. <laughs> <laughs> That's just scary. That's true. Oh, I recently watched a whole bunch of uh, the house on of Haunted Hill. Ah, oh, I want to watch it. I want to watch it. Really? It's so good, and that that was a reference to that. Fuck, because it's scary as fuck, and I don't like scary movies. You gotta watch it in the morning. Of course. Do you remember that? That's how we watch Friends. Yeah, start off. Yeah, start your day off watching it. Then you won't be so. It sticks. That's a secret. Like during the day, so we went to the Westchester Winchester Hall. You went there? Yes. In the daytime, and I'm like, this is cool. Like I can do this because I'm with my friends. And then fuck, man, come nighttime, I'm at my own house now, and I'm like, yeah, you're like, what did I bring with me? I can't, I can't watch it with the with the with the sun out it doesn't feel right right you gotta I started be this series with the sun out and I ended it with the sun like you know down so you just binge watched it and then uh, cuz I was in the middle of studying and then watching that yeah. so I would like oh. I would treat myself with like 10 minutes I'd be like, like cool I finished an article pause let me watch this for like 10 15 minutes so I don't know I can't watch <laughs> like that and then um, so I ended up la last night I had a whole bunch of nightmares because of oh. it I was like oh my god this is in my head I just keep thinking about dude I had a fucking nightmare or dream However you want to say that, fucking Joe proposed. What? Yeah, but it was <laughs> a nightmare. To <laughs> you? <laughs> Wait, to you? That is a nightmare. <laughs> right? Stephen King is allowing teenage film students to have their rights to his stories for just one dollar. Whoa. What? Wait, to do like like theater plays or something like that? Or At movies? the 99 like cent their own store. Films? <laughs> huh. That's dope. That's, That's dope. Cool. Yeah, so these one dollar or like stories that he's giving away for a dollar. It's called Dollar Babies, and it's this section of Stephen King's official website, and it allows film students to request the rights for a selection of, for like one of the selection of his short stories so they can adapt it in their own way. Hi. That's awesome. That is really cool. And you have to be a teen? A teen? You have to yeah. be a well, student. You have to be a film student. So you could be a film student in college? Oh, there are these students. These teenage students in the UK, in Wales, that they're now going to be working on one of Stephen King's stories, which it's called Stationary Bike, follows an artist who's told he has dangerously high cholesterol. And so when he begins cycling to lose weight, he becomes obsessed and begins to hallucinate nightmarish scenarios. Damn, this wow. fool knows how to make everything scary. I know, yeah. what the fuck? He's like, I'm gonna lose some weight because I'm fat. And he makes that scary. Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? It's like weight loss, no. That is crazy. I've been watching this new thing um, that he created. It's on 
fuck, Hulu or Amazon, but it's it's called Castle Rock. That shit's crazy. Castle oh, Rock. So you know that uh, that jail Shawshank? Yeah. Out in um like that area. He did Shawshank Coast? Redemption, did he? No. No. I don't know, but it's a, it's, it's a jail called Shawshank, and then the 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 idea is that there is uh, the devil. There's a devil that was uh, kind of what do you call it? The uh, took took form of a human boy, and then um, the jailer thought that what he had to do was grab this devil boy and then hide him in that jail. And then, like, he commits suicide, and then later, like, they find this kid. That sounds like some other story. Yeah. And then, like, they don't know what to do with them. And then, like, I don't know, it's pretty nuts. What's his favorite food? <laughs> focus, you guys. Focus. I'm not even focused. <laughs> What's his favorite food? What? His favorite food? Because <laughs> well, I'm just thinking, like, a lot of people, they like to, like, uh, have, an, have an outlet, right? And then once they get it out, you know, like, uh... Imagine it's just, like, pasta roni. Like, like, you know, when you do, like, MMA and stuff, like, when you're training, like you get all that aggression out, yeah. and then some of the funnest times I have is after the train, we're all just chilling. We're just like, right. yay, because it's so fun. So I'm like, if this fool wrote all that aggression out, is he only eating cotton candy every day? Like, what does he do? That'd be so funny. That fool like writes about demons, and then he He's goes like, out yay. to. <laughs> I bet you that's so normal in his life, though. Yeah. Uh, and and how shit? much shit do you like have to Disney go animals. through? Because, like, imagine writing a letter to your husband, for example. Like, after the third happy birthday letter, you're like, all right, I told you everything I feel for you. Like, yeah. damn. You know I mean, like, he just keeps inventing, like, wow. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It feels better every year. My cars mm -hmm. get better. That's a scary story. Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a scary story. Commitment. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I imagine him like going into his writers' meetings and it's like zombies again. <laughs> like, can you see? It? No, that's why he's got to write about stationary bikes. He's like, oh Ooh. yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Cholesterol. You know, he's written fifty-eight novels. Wow, dude, that is like that is next level though, because he's like, Psh, ho like killing. I'm gonna talk about pillows. That's easy shit. <laughs> like, let's fuck up comfortable shit. Yeah, I'm gonna make you, you know? to go to your own yeah. bed, like, going class. Yeah, the <laughs> Bah. Dude, I will tell you though, <laughs> after that movie, The Ring, I couldn't look at TVs at night. Oh, like I had a TV shit. in my room, and I'm like, was that Stephen like, King? No, 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 no. that's no. a Japanese. But you saying uh, talking about making stuff in oh, your home yeah. scary? No, after The Ring, I got scared of taking showers. I you know, like the, oh, the, the hair. hair. Oh, I had oh, like, dude. Oh. Long black hair was never the same after that movie. <laughs> I had long black black <laughs> hair. Always you were long. scared of yourself? No, so because I saw that movie in the theater three times. And then each time Damn. I went, I still haven't watched. Go watch it tonight. What? Fuck no. You went to <laughs> She's like going to the living room. Each time I went though, like right when I it. knew she was about to pop out, I put my hair here and I like yeah. the person I was with would be like, Seven. yeah. <laughs> I used to do an impression. I would put all my hair in front and it would be like I made the sound effect. It was like. Mm. <laughs> 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 Dang, girl, you really got that down. <laughs> or the fucking crawl. Yeah, because the way she oh, moves yeah. is so fun. The, the, only, the only one I watched was in, uh, I think, scary movie where they parodied it. Uh, and then the, the thing insane. crawled out. And then she was like, bitch! And started beating yeah. the fuck out of her. I know the TV. Like, my carpet, bitch! And she started beating the fuck out of her. That's tight. <laughs> I know I missed those. Those were funny. I know, those were funny. A woman swallowed her engagement ring in her sleep. What? What did she do? She went. <laughs> God damn, that was sexy. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty hot, dude. Yeah, I couldn't see because you're one more has time. He just went. Oh. Do it again. Single ladies. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> you can bed. have all I got math skills, girl. <laughs> wow. All right. Ah! Wow. Why you gotta oh, put shit. it in like that? Stop, you're gonna get locked off. <laughs> He's single, gentlemen. <laughs> I get nothing single. but DMs from guys. That's, it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Men supporting men. I wouldn't know if I sleepwalk or not, because I'm sleeping. Dude, well, do you wake so up in the same place? Yeah. I, I've or if you know if things are moved around. Like, we talked about someone before where she had to lock up her food because she was sleep eating. She was gaining a lot oh of weight. Oh, my God. Dude, I heard of people, what? they had to lock up their keys because they were trying to go in the car and shit. Fucking oh, sleep tight. Yeah. Shit. Oh, shit. They got a Tesla there, right? <laughs> that's, that's crazy. When, my, yeah. when my dad got remarried, he married um, this lady that had two, two, like, little girls. And one of them was, like, seven years old. And I remember my dad, like, warning me. He's like, hey, just so you know, like, um, uh, her name was Rachel. She's like, she, she like, sleepwalks. I'm like, oh, okay, so I spent the night over at my dad. 
And I just remember like, cause I, I slept in the living room. I remember like just this little girl like by the wall and like she was like talking to the door. And then I was like, oh. That's, I, I, I didn't know, I just kind of went back to bed, dude. I was like, well, like you can't touch them, right? You're not supposed to, no, you're not supposed to touch them or wake them up, like you could fuck it up. Don't say well, what happened? He's like, it's also, she, she likes to wear uh, 18th century uh, <laughs> nightgowns. So just so you know, it's a, it's a terrible combination. Yeah, what happens to people when you wake them up during sleepwalking? Because I always, like, I know that that's the stuff, you're not supposed to, like, do it, but I just want to do it. Cause yeah, it's creepy. It makes you a little like, curious hey, now. Something's like, Stop. fucking creepy. Wake up, fucker. Go back to sleep. Yeah. Mm. I love the idea that you have a fucking flute. Hey, stop. It's <laughs> not being creepy. <laughs> yeah. no, so no, wake no, him no. up. Don't flip. Wake your ass up, bitch. I also like how people treat sleepwalkers like they're jacked into the Matrix, and you can't, you can't fucking die there. Yeah. I don't even care if you guys want to make fun of me, because I had sleep paralysis the other night, and it was fucking nuts. Did you see ghosts? So I had a dream that. Or whatever. I was, yeah, I had a dream that I was floating around my. Why'd you bring it up house. like that? Who's gonna make fun of you? No, they can go ahead and make fun of me. I think it's totally fine and legitimate. Um, no, I was floating <laughs> around my. I was floating around our house, right? And I'm floating <laughs> downstairs, like in my office area. The astral projection shit. Yeah, like oh, I'm. Yeah, like, yeah. Are you floating this feels. way or like this way or like this? I'm floating way? like this, dude. Like like this. Oh, kind of shit. Steve the like, friendly like ghost. Iron Man. Steve right. the friendly yeah, ghost. Like and yeah, all the way true. <laughs> True, I mischaracterized that. So yeah, I'm floating around, and then all of a sudden I get like a wave of goosebumps over me, like 80 times, like 80 wow. times. Not you even count it? Like, well, it's, it's like that many times. But like you have to pee really Constant like crash tinglies. of the goosebumps, yeah. and it constantly hits me over and over and over and over and over. And then I and then I'm frozen. I can't can't really move. And um, I look out my bathroom window, and there's a black dog sitting there, and he starts growling at me. And then I'm like, oh shit, I gotta get back into my body. This it's is how the dream is. It's an evil dog? It's an evil dog. He's like growling at me and he starts barking at me. Oh, and he, he's like eye locked with me and then I can't fucking move at all. And then I'm like yelling, trying to get to try to get back into my body or whatever, because that's how it feels in the dream. And then Nikki heard me while I was asleep. Like She heard you in your dream? She heard me like like in real life, like going She's like, like oh, bah, 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 he needs my help in the other dimension. Yeah. <laughs> she knows cute. this happens to me. And then she, so she- Well, no, he said like, in real life, she heard him. She heard me in real life, yeah. Oh. And, and then she wakes me up, she wakes me up, and then I am me, I'm immediately like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Cause oh, she- So you were actually that. screaming in real life like, ah! Like, and yeah, it, like my body was like yeah. going like, bad baby. Oh, you, it would have been so much doper if she had that connection and yeah. she's sleeping too and she was yeah. in the fucking spirit world sick. with you. And she's like, oh, Steve needs me. Wake up, honey. See, What's that would be sick. Damn. Like that? Yeah. Like, another I thought you were going to say that he was, she was going to be protecting him from the dog in that other dimension. No, 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 because Nikki be scared in the dream. She'll be like, oh, hell no, nah, right? That's but sick. then like in real life, she'll, she'll, she'll be like, oh, I need fucking, I need to help Steve. She, yeah. she knows to do that in real life, so yeah. that helped me a lot. Good. Fuck, man, that's a trip. But it's scary in the moment. You're like, oh, fuck, this feels very real. Yeah, I've had that's like some Stranger Things ass shit, right? dude. You were in the fucking nether regions. I was in the nether world, bro. The underneath. And it just looked like my house. That's just with Upside down. That's oh, I fucking, I burned that condo and I run away. Yep. Mm -hmm. I've never yeah. had some problems. I arson. No? What were you going to say? I've had one where it was like, I, I, I don't know what I was watching, where I was watching something about like demons and, and, and questioning the idea of like, is there such things as demons and whatnot? And I just knocked out on the couch. And I remember the last thing I saw was like my, my curtains in my living room. I have these, uh, like, like these dark gray curtains. And I remember I fell asleep and I remember like saying in my dream like, that's not real, you're not real. Like this shit isn't real. And out of nowhere like an imprint of like a demon type thing came from my curtains and it was like choking me. And I was just like, you couldn't I breathe. Didn't anything, I couldn't breathe. Nothing. And then when I woke up, I realized that I fell asleep like this. Oh, on the couch. oh. you and choking so yourself? I was really choking in like my real yeah. self. That's so crazy. it's crazy how that was my dream. Yeah, that it was like. Because you probably were still listening to the audio or something. Something, dude. I, I don't know what I was watching, but I, I just remember questioning it, going to sleep, seeing that, and I was like, <gasps> it's real. You know, like yeah. fuck. Yeah. yeah, that's funny. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so back to this woman Mentees here. have developed a laser that can transmit audio messages through the air. Like a phone? So then everyone's going to hear it as it passes by? What? The phone? Wait, like a Bluetooth? It, so you're going to send it to, to Tiff, but you're going to be like, tell Gina, uh, no, don't tell Gina this, but I fucking hate her. And it's going to go by, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hear it. And I'm going to go, oh, What'd shit. you say? Yeah, and then she's going to hear it. 
Wait, isn't that just fiber ESPM? optic? ESPM. No. ESPM. Where they've okay, developed no. a way to beam audio messages directly into someone's ear. Crazy. Oh my god, that is next level creepy. I don't That'd want it. So I don't want it. Yeah, it's like it. a whisper oh, in your no. ear. Oh, That's so it. cool because like I love like, your faces. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, I don't want them to uh, get inside my head. Yeah. But now they can. That's I don't want it. Oh, dude, the tinfoil people are gonna go nuts. That's I don't want it. Freaky as fuck. That's one of my biggest fucking nightmares that I'm in my room. Lights are all off. I'm laying down, and then someone whispers in my ear, but I know that I'm alone. That, oh. Dude, that happened to me when I was No! And where? When I was little. Yeah. In Tijuana? Like, no. It was a bruja. <laughs> no, so. <laughs> all these fucking stereotypes. <laughs> Fuck you guys. No, I was like about 10 or 11. <laughs> around this time of my life, for some reason, I when I would try to be, I would try to go to sleep, and I would hear whispers in my ear like, Timmy. All that shit. Your voice or someone else's voice? We're not best friends anymore. We're not even friends. <laughs> I don't want that shit. No, no so. Your parents talking downstairs and you heard the vibration of their no, voice through the I bed. No, I think it is, what I told myself what it was, it was just that my brain was playing tricks on me. And I was just like, it was my mind not letting me go to sleep. Yeah. But I actually heard it on my ear. So since then, till this day, you will never see me sleep with my ears exposed. I always have to put my hair over my ears when I go to sleep. Yeah, oh, but then we hair hear blocks sound. No, because Will you even hear me right now? She doesn't want to feel the breath. I don't want to feel like, or like just, I felt, because when I was little and I would put the hair over my ear, it would, yeah. it, it would like would it stop away? it. It would kind of like make it go away. Oh. Uh, so, but then that didn't make you not hear it, right? It just muffled it? Or you? Um, or it, it just made me, safety. it safety. made me feel safer oh. and it made me feel like I, I just want to think you had fucking laser ass hearing and shit. <laughs> You were hearing the neighbors. Me, they were yeah. hearing my name. You could cover it. That means you're probably blocking the vibration. But then if it's open like this, then you could hear more. Well, so I, I do that for two reasons. The one is like the... That was what started it, was like the whispering in my ear. Who are you? But then the other one was that I found out that bugs crawling your ears and shit. So that's the other... Meaning. Well, what were they, what were they yeah. saying? Like... Harder, harder, faster, puppy, puppy. <laughs> like your parents. Are like, what? <laughs> what were they saying? The kids are gonna hear us. The kids are gonna hear us. Remember. Do it slower. Do it slower. What was the what was the words? I don't remember. I just remember it was mainly like my my name being repeated. In Tiffany, different, Tiffany, in Tiffany, different Tiffany. voices. Tiffany. It wasn't like the same oh. voice. Was it your Spanish ah, name? Tiffany? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I don't know, but yeah, I haven't actually thought about this. Was it long was time. it Tiff or Tiffany or what did they say? Did you try talking back to them? No. What? 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 No, they, because uh, like I said, it was ghost? just I was just telling myself like it's just my brain trying to freak me out. Why are you lying to yourself? It's just like when when a rave, I run the fuck out of there. But you can't run away from the ghost in your head. Uh, yeah. <laughs> tell me that when I'm scared. It's still in your head. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing like when you're in the in darkness and then your your eyes play tricks on you and they make you want to see things. I tell myself like it's just my brain. It's just my brain. <laughs> anyway, let's get into that. But, but then you should have asked yourself, how do they know English? How do they know English? It's it would be like wanna. English and Spanish. It'd be like Tiffany, 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 Tiffany. Yes. How do you say Tiffany? Wait, wait, wait. Tiffany is your Spanish Tiffany. name? Tiffany. Well, it's not her Spanish name. It's just how you pronounce it in Spanish. Oh. What's your Spanish name? <laughs> Tiffany. I don't know. <laughs> Juana is what they would call me. Oh, wait. Juana? Juana? Oh, yeah? Giovanna? Juana? Really? That's a dude. Yeah, that's, that's a, a lot of fucking extra like, letters. Juana yeah. Mira. Juana Mira. Same thing except the N is an Enye. Mm. Alright. Tiffany? 